call it my Game of Thrones bag. Look at this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I haven't done one of these in a little while, which is some new pieces that I've just got in. I'm probably the last person to post this, but sod it. It is what I found during the Black Friday sales, plus some other things that I have um, found over the past few weeks. I got them all with the intention of wearing um, right now, which I've already started to wear on my Instagram, um, also to wear in St. Lucia, where I am at the moment, and um, also for the summer as well. So I'm already thinking ahead for spring. So let me just address the elephant in the room, which is what I have on. This is an old H&M jumper, so ignore that. But I got these gold hoops. Now, I've been looking for like some just thick tubular style um, hoop earrings, which aren't like massive, but sort of medium to small size. But the most important thing is that they needed to be like quite thick. So these are from um, Mango. Um, Tara from Tara Mars, she has them. Hey girl, shout out to you if you're watching. Uh, they are very light as well, so don't worry about that. They feel like they're hollow, which I love, because that means that, you know, you don't, see my ear isn't pulling down that, which I like. Sorry about that. One thing, and then the next are these earrings, and these are also from Mango, but these are almost the same, but slightly smaller. Let me just show you one of them, there you go. But they're gorgeous, but I love both of them. And these are really nice everyday earrings, but they actually remind me of earrings I had when I was growing up as a kid. I actually owned earrings exactly like this for years. I never took them off and they were like real gold. Another thing are these jeans I'm wearing. These are by Topshop. I love these. I'm gonna insert um, split screen so you can see pictures of me wearing them properly. But they are, look at this. They have the perfect wide leg. They come in this light wash and also a darker rinse, I believe. These are Topshop jeans. I got them for a collaboration I was doing with them. And I I love them. Look at that, look at that fit. I could just, I should just stand like this throughout my entire video, just like that. I've got socks on. But I love how wide they are here. Cross between a wide leg and a flare jean, but I'd say they're more like a flare jean. They actually do hit the ground. Um, on me, they sort of graze the top of my feet, but when I put like a heeled ankle boot, then they have like a cropped look, like a long flared, like a long wide leg that's cropped, which I really like as well. Like I said, these are high waisted, which I really find the most flattering, and they do go in, see? Which is what most of us want, especially when you have a hips and a butt. Jeans actually cut in, they don't do that gaping, and these don't do that, they actually do go in. And yeah, so these are, these are gr I really, these are like one of my current favorite jeans. I just, I really like how they look, especially with um, like a block, solid block heel ankle boot. I love that look. Oh, what should I go to next? Oh, another hole in my closet that I said I was looking to fill during Black Friday was a card holder or a wallet, right? I said that I needed one because you know the condition, let me show you, of my wallet, which is still absolutely crap. Look at that. This is an old Proenza. It is so, oh, it's so bad. It's, anyway, and it's, lo it's loaded down with just coins. So there was that. And I also needed, like I said, a card holder. So in the interim, I found this from a vintage shop. How beautiful is this? It is gorgeous. It's beaded. This is so me. It really is. Look at that. Look at the design on it. It's just, oh, I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. So I love the idea of, I always want something that makes you feel happy. Like when you're paying for something, have something that's really pretty to look at every time that you're doing that. Um, and this to me gives me that feeling. So yes, yeah, so you just open it like that. And I've just been putting, here's my cards, just sitting in there. So that is just, it's a very unusual card holder and it's not really, I suppose, but I like the idea of using it as that. So that's what I've been currently carrying around with me for my cards and it's nice and thin and it's small enough to fit into all my bags, all my little bags, which is a nice transition into one of the bags I'm gonna show you right now that it can also fit into. I have two very special bags to show you. One is extremely special, it's the very end. Don't fast forward. But this one I'm gonna show you right now and it is this gorgeous, I call it my Game of Thrones bag. Look at this. 
I found it from the Manhattan Vintage Fair. It reminds me of Paco Rabanne so much. I love Paco Rabanne bags, especially this particular style. I just think it's just a fantastic bag. It's very delicate, so it's not something you can just like throw around, but you just turn the lock here and it opens. And that is it, it is just such a pretty bag. I'll tell you who it's by. It is, drum roll, Color moi? Is that what it says? No, it says color, color what? Color mate, made in Italy. Made in Italy for color mate. Never heard of them. But anyway, that's, that's the bag. And I, oh, this is just so special for me. I, oh, I love this, look. See, I love how it looks with denim. I just think that looks so good together. This is a, oh, this is such a great little bag. This is a great piece to lift your ordinary like, clothes every day. So that's why I got it. I like the idea of just wearing it as an everyday bag, like especially like over coats and stuff. And you just bung this on. It's just so unexpected. Obviously it's for days when you're not carrying that much or you carry this and then you have like something else in your hand if you have more things that you need. But this is your handbag, if that makes any sense. So loving this piece, gorgeous really really it just oh this is such a good piece i just don't think i've had the chance to show it to you on youtube but it has already been on my instagram so really great bag and look it does fit inside but i really like that so two beautiful beautiful statement little vintage pieces that i it's just they're so me um, I got this skirt from Realization Par, which you guys already know about, and I love this skirt. I'm definitely going to be wearing this into next year. So I ended up getting my current favorite, especially during the summer springtime, which is Daisy Print. Now I have the Daisy Print shirt, which you got a lot have already seen. I'll insert pictures so you can see what that looks like from a thrift shop. And um, I saw this one from Realization Par. I always loved it, so I caved. And one of you lot on Instagram stories you dm'd me and you told me about the, the realization par sale god I, I wrote back i said to her why did you tell me oh. so i went on and i saw straight away this skirt that i've always like liked instead of my leopard print i can wear this daisy print one and i love the idea of teaming the um shirts let me just show you actually hold on wearing them together hold on okay i looked all over i can't find the shirt right now which is highly annoying or um, with t-shirts, any kind of like graphic tees, just like plain tees, anything. And then also just to team it up with that daisy print shirt. I think that's gonna look kind of special as well. So that is my thinking when I got this. I'll be bringing this with me to St. Lucia as well. Um, you can follow me on Instagram stories and see what I'm doing over there with Michael. We always go there every Christmas and New Year's. And then I found, speaking of daisy print, because I love it so much, I ended up finding this dress now I found it for the whopping price of $4 from a thrift shop and it is a daisy print shirt. It's basically just got cap sleeves, a little bit of ruffle on the end of the sleeves and it has a tie at the waist. You really can't see, just fling on when it's really warm and I don't know what to wear and I don't feel like wearing like shorts and a t-shirt when I'm in St. Lucia. I just want to fling on little sundresses. Okay, so what do I show you next? Going back to uh, winter stuff, I'm literally just popping around all over the place. I um, was caught out one day and it was freezing. I was so cold. So um, I emergency bought this scarf and I am so glad that I got it. It is from Housing Works. You know Housing Works that sells secondhand and vintage. Uh, they had this ones all over the city. I always go to the one on Crosby Street, I believe. And it feels so good. And I love the charcoal color because it goes with so much. I mean, it goes with this, like pink and grays. Looks so, so good together. Anyway, so oh, I was so pleased when I picked this up because it, it's so warm. It's really long and it's kind of wide as well. See, look how wide this part is. Massive. And I love that about it. So it just feels... It feels luxe and more expensive than what it is. The tassels are really long as well. It's just a really nice quality for the price point, I thought. I thought, yeah, this is, this is a good one. Moving on, remember I told you about the guy where I got this from? I found this fantastic leather trench coat. It's coming out brighter than it is in person. It's, um, it's like a shade down from what you're seeing right now, because uh, I'm facing the window and it's quite bright coming in. So, but this is the details of it. It has like perforations. Can you see? 
it has like these perforations on it yeah you can see there going across the top there oh and it's just so nice and look at the lining michael when he saw it he immediately he opened it to look at the lining because he loved that lining so nice and then the back as well oh, but look i already like how this looks with it and even oh anyway let me just put this on so you can see <laughs> oh, anyway <clears throat> Yes, yeah, so it was one of those things that I put on Instagram. I did like a poll on my stories because sometimes I like to do that, just like to take you lot quickly with me. Like um, if I don't have anyone with me and I want like an objective opinion on stuff, I just ask you lot and just do a quick poll, like yes or no. And most of you said, hell yes to this trench. So anyway, so this is the, the trench. I like it actually opened, but I'm just showing you it belted because I really like this belt. I just think it's just so nice. Do you see it? I think there's such a cool detail in a trend, in any kind of coat. You know, you don't expect to see leather, you know, in this kind of color. So I just, oh, it's, mm, this is such a good color. I'm, I'm really happy. It's just a really great, great color. And I'm just, oh, I love it. Um, let me just see. I mean, I could, but I would take these earrings off because they're gold and I kind of like the idea of just keeping the silver and this color together and just having that working by itself. So I'd go with no earrings. But I like this together. Oh gosh, this is so, so good. And then you've got the scarf as well. I told you how I like this, this scarf, this color. Honestly, if you are in New York City, go down to the Housing Works on Crosby and hopefully they still have more of these scarves because I just think they are great. They're so good. I just love how oversized and long it is. It's just... This is my leather trench coat. Great. <laughs> you know, you know. I was looking for a sweater dress, long sleeved, column shapes, just, just nice and long so I can wear it with like tall boots. I happened to stumble across the J. Crew sample sale and I went in, didn't I? And look at this. Look, the perfect charcoal gray from J. Cruz, and it, look at this. Look what it's got. Eggs, yeah, I know. Pockets, pockets as well. I mean, I could not believe it. Um, and the material of this, it is super warm, and I love the fact that it's a polo neck, so it goes up nice and high, and you're just wearing like this column of gray, and it looks really nice with gold. See, like with, see, like the gold. With I love the gold jewelry, how it looks with this. I think mean, it looks so good. 100% wool, maybe with cashmere because it's very, very soft as well. It is just, this was a great piece to find from the sample sale and it cost $50 for the quality of it. I mean, you can't feel it, so you don't know how soft it is, but it's, it really is and it is quite thick as well and I love how it's just cut straight down and how long it is. I wanted one that was nice and long and you know, I kind of like wished it into existence, I think. Um, so I'm really happy about this. So this is a great piece to have. Great color, good neutral, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, and another thing I got is a pair of jeans from Zara. I was looking for a good pair of black straight cut jeans and also the uh, cropped flared jean. The one that I had before, that's already gone back. Um, yeah, so that is how it looks together. But I got these ones, these straight leg ones from Zara. And these fit fine, got them during the 30% off Black Friday sale. Yeah, so it's just a straight leg jean because I've been wearing um, different shades of blue all the time, if you haven't noticed on my YouTube. So I wanted some black in there just to mix it up and to just, there's times when I'm putting something on, I'm like, God, I wish I had a pair of black jeans. So that's the first one. And then I went to Uniqlo where I picked up the Uniqlo Polonex. You lot know from my sweaters video how I loved the Polonex and some of you bought them have said how you loved them as well. I'm glad you do because I really like them as well. So I went back because I was looking for, mentioned in Black Friday, um, crew necks, just some simple crew necks where I don't really want to like pull a big jumper that's got like this, you know, the polo, if I don't want that feeling. I just want something almost cut like this, but thin. So I picked up three of them. And they're all exactly the same, which is the crew neck top, which is a crew neck at the top. Um, these retailed for $29.90 each. Merino wool, great. I mean, Uniqlo is one of those things which I really, I think they excel during the winter time. A6, there's nothing to them. They're nice, easy pieces to just slip on when I don't know what to wear. Uh, and I also got this corduroy 
full length coat from the Frankie Shop on the Lower East Side. This is fantastic. I love the Frankie Shop. I think their aesthetic and vibe is really, I know it's really contemporary and I love to see what they do. Talk about random luck that there's one that I can access so easily. Love the color of this coat. It is just so, so good. It's nice and long, just the way I like my coats to be for that drama. <sighs> This is such a good coat. I mean, do I really want to put it on over this? Not really. Anyway, I'll just drape it. This is such a good coat. Oh, it is just fantastic. I really am in love with this coat. Oh my gosh, corduroy and me. Well, like a match made in heaven. I just, I'm, I'm obsessed with, I just love corduroy so much. You don't know how much I do. Anyway, so this is just such a great piece. And I find like, it's almost like reminds me of my men's three piece corduroy suit that I found last year. This to me is like my update for the find for this particular season in corduroy. So it comes in the midnight blue as well from the Frankie shop. I'll link to them below because I believe they still have both colors available. You already seen the video that I did about how to create um, holiday party outfits all vintage, like vintage and thrift. I did that with Beth Jones. If you haven't seen that, video is linked below. Check it out. You've got to see the outfits that we both came up with. <laughs> I could just do this all day. Out of the two outfits that I came up with, this to me is the hero piece that I found. And that's why I'm going to show it to you in this video. It warrants being in it. And it is this amazing skirt that I found from Buffalo Exchange. Look at this Look at that. Yeah. I know, I can hear you going, oh wow, that is nice. Look at that. Charcoal gray, sequined. I have never seen a pleated sequined skirt that does that. That has all these incredible colors in it. This is a statement skirt if I've ever seen one. You know the gold metallic Holston skirt, skirt <laughs> that I have? I'll insert pictures of it here, the pleated gold. I call it my liquid gold skirt. It is just beautiful. It's a stunning skirt. To me is now the next stunning skirt in my wardrobe next to that gold Holston. It's got to be this. This is gonna look so good dressed down because you know I like to contrast. I will dress this down easily with a pair of sneakers and also, I'll also dress it down with a pair of boots, any old ankle boots. Do you know what I mean? I just want to contrast it because it's such a statement skirt. And I can imagine it like peeking out from underneath like a long coat. This is absolutely stunning. This gets compliments when I wear it. I mean, you cross your legs on a train, you just see this spreading out. Anyway, this is amazing. Jacqueline de Ribes. So look that up and see if you can find this, um, this skirt. I got another Chanel bag. <laughs> I'm just gonna like cut to the chase. You know I have my square mini, the one that I say that the worst thing happens and everything disappears in the world, you're gonna see that Chanel caviar black square mini just sitting on top of a heap, you know, just all by itself. It's a cockroach bag, it's just not gonna die. Well, anyway, I have, I ended up getting a red one. Now this is a size, it's not the rectangular, I think it's the medium size. It is lambskin, it is vintage, it is the gold hardware, um, and I loved, in the beginning I used to not like gold with the red, but I have grown to truly love it, especially on vintage bags. I don't know why, but I like the gold hardware, vintage. Maybe it's the color of it as well, because it's very yellow gold. Quilts have started to, well, they've already been deflated because it's a vintage one. I actually like that. There's an aesthetic appeal to that in that it's, um, well, I don't to explain to you lot. If you don't know me well enough, you know, because I love vintage stuff so much, I see the appeal in things which are used. I see the appeal in things which are, um, have had a life. I think that's the best way to put it. And then you turn around and give it a life. I think that's, it feels more special to me and you're least likely to see you know you walk out the door and there's five thousand people women all wearing exactly the same bag they bought at zara do you know what i mean i like that sense of individuality that buying second hand and vintage gives to you and affords you and speaking of afford this bag i got from shopbop um the what goes around comes around they have a section where they sell um vintage designer items including chanel now the reason i caved on this one is because 
I worked with Shopbot for 2018 and they afforded me a really generous discount to purchase on Shopbop and it applied to Chanel as well. So before 2018 ends, I thought, let me get this now because I don't know if that discount will carry next year. So I thought, let me do it. I'll take the plunge and I will get it with that discount. And I am, I love it. It is, it's got the flap on the back, as you can see. I probably will just stick my Metro card in it, which is handy. If you need a review on this bag, let me know, but I'm sure there are so many YouTube reviews on these bags. I don't even need to probably do one. It has the double flap. It's got like a zip here, and it's got like a secret um, compartment here. Also down here, you can slip things in. Look at that red. And then you've got like the CC embossed. And then you've got another flap here. You've got like that here. You've got something down here. You've got one at the front here. Then you've got the main compartment right there. Two at the back here. We will put like lipsticks right here. That is, oh, my little bag. It's gorgeous. And it's the old gold hardware as well. That is what makes it so special to me. A nice difference to my black one. I have, I've had this about six years now, maybe, maybe seven years. This is my caviar one. So to do a comparison video, I will, but I know there are a ton of videos like that everywhere. So if you don't, it's fine. Don't say anything. So that is the one that I've been carrying for a very long time. And then now here I've got my red one, which I can switch to. And I love this one. It's just really, really, it's just, it's just enough for me. And I actually like it worn just like that as well. So crossbody. It's nice and sort of high, but it's not like here by your tit. A more casual way to wear it. And you just reach in, boom, get what you need, close it, and you keep going. And you can have your coat draped over, and this is underneath it. I really like this. I can already see how I'm going to use it. So the outfit shows, and this just finishes it off. It doesn't overwhelm. So I think that is everything. Have I left anything out? I'm looking at my bed. Did I leave anything out? Not really. I think that is... Oh my gosh, one more thing. So the Chanel is not going to be last. Makes a change though. That's right, they put like the most expensive thing last. Well, it's not going to be last because I forgot. I also got these, the by far boots. Gorgeous, I think they're called the Becca boots. I'll write the name on the screen. They come in different colors. It was a toss up between the brown and the black. I went with the black ones. Look at that block heel. It's really simple, very granny kind of chic boot. It's the shape of the boot and it's just that lacing detail. Because Michael, when he saw them, he went, bloody hell, it's going to take you a while to get those on, isn't it? Because he thought it was like this, but it's not because it's got the zip on the inside. <laughs> that is the boot. I've already worn them two or three times going out. They are really comfortable. I got them in a 41. They actually run slightly roomy. So I always wear 41s everywhere. I could have taken, if they had a half size, I think I could have got away with a 40 and a half. I'll link below to the places that I've seen all of these boots um, and all the different colors that they come in, but highly recommend. Um, these look really good, like with these jeans, because they've got that block heel, it's got that narrow shaft. I think that's perfect. I just, oh, with all my coats as well. Sweater, the sweater dress. Anyway. I think that is that is my lot. I'm not going to go on anymore. Um, those are the new in pieces that I've got. I'm, I'm enjoying them and I really like these pieces. So that is it. And I really love these jeans though. These jeans? <sighs> let me know if you get these jeans. They're, they're, they're really good. I'll let you... Um, that is it. That is my lot. There's nothing else I wanted to say except I will see you next Friday. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My name is Karen Britchick everywhere. Um, da -da -da -da, what else did I want to say? If you want to see what Michael and I are getting up to in St. Lucia, follow me on Instagram between this Friday and next Friday, especially on my stories. If you want to see what am I getting up to, I'll talk to you later. Have a good weekend, my loves, and a good week. And I'll see you guys next Friday, as always. Bye. You ain't trying to grow that for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record. For the record, yeah. For the, for the record.